Joy is an empty runway and a 1 0 0 0 HP Sauber Mercedes C11. Welcome to HSR Motors, your ultimate destination for everything automotive. Whether you're a diehard petrol head or simply fascinated by the world of cars, you've come to the right place. Buckle up as we take you on a thrilling journey through the latest in automobile technology, jaw dropping car reviews, and adrenaline pumping adventures. Get ready to rev your engines and fuel your passion because at HSR Motors, we're not just driving cars, we're driving dreams. Usually, turbochargers dull the roar of an engine. Not so with the Sauber C11's Mercedes 5.0 liter V8. You might think you have a cool job, then you learn about the guy who's paid to shake down a 1,000 horsepower Mercedes powered doorstop on an empty runway. Sports car racer Richard Bradley posted a video on Twitter of his test of a Sauber Mercedes C11 Group C prototype. It sounds incredible. The C11 was the follow up to Sauber's Le Mans winning C9. It used its predecessor's 5.0 liter V8, the same basic engine Mercedes used in the SL500, and with two turbochargers, it made around 700 to 750 horsepower in race trim. For qualifying, though, Sauber cranked up the boost to get the engine beyond 1,000 horsepower, all in a super high downforce carbon chassis car that weighed under 2,000 pounds. Sheesh, Michael Schumacher drove C11S, including today's subject, before making his Formula One debut. With the C11, Sauber and Mercedes dominated the 1990 World Sports Car Championship, but the car never won Le Mans. Sauber sat out the 1990 race and managed a fifth place at the 1991 race. Despite being an intimidating prospect, racer Carl Wendlinger told Motorsport.com that the C11 was easy. The C11 was a very fast car, a very competitive car, but it was not so difficult to drive, he said. First of all, the car had lots of downforce especially on the rear axle. And if you were once a little bit too fast somewhere, then there was a slight understeer, which is easier to correct than an oversteer. The engine was really comfortable to drive, very good pickup, nice rev band to drive with, good torque, good power, so it was in total car and engine was a very good compromise. Today, it seems like a damn good time. We're jealous of anyone, like Bradley, who gets a shot behind the wheel. And that's a wrap for today's episode at HSR Motors. If you enjoyed diving into the world of wheels with us, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications so you never miss out on our exhilarating content. Remember, every like and share fuels our passion to bring you more thrilling adventures and informative insights. So, until next time, keep chasing your automotive dreams with HSR Motors. Drive safe, stay inspired, and let's keep the journey rolling together.